just wanted to give the church a, a quick update. Um, it's kind of something that we've been we've had ongoing for quite some time. In December, we ended up um, hitting our 10-year mark here in this location, and we were extremely grateful for that. Uh, this past week, we ended up meeting with our current landlord, and the area where his office space is, which is right down at the end of the street, he is uh, putting up for sale. There are some individuals that are interested in it, and by the end of the year, he's probably going to move back into this location. So, in hearing that news, we were saddened, for sure, but at the same time, we're kind of asking ourselves questions like, what's the next 10 years going to look like, right? And how are we going to continue to move forward from this point on? So, the leaders are praying. On Wednesday, we had a prayer uh, meeting as well. Most of you guys probably received the text, and if you couldn't be here, this was announced that Wednesday um, and we pray together as a church. So we're going to continue to pray. We're going to continue to be open to what God is going to do. We're believing high, right? And at the same time, we're just kind of navigating through it together. So this Wednesday, I'm not going to take too long in kind of sharing this, but this Wednesday, Derek's going to continue to share. We start around 7.15, but before then, if you can be here at 6.30, we're going to invite specific people, but it's open for everyone. We're going to try to kind of get together with some of the core and just kind of lay out just the way we're going to kind of save the rest of the year to prepare ourselves to be able to give down to a location. Because if a location can be purchased, that's our aiming high, right? And we're believing and trusting that he's going to lead us. We're not uh, sold in one particular location outside of West Palm Beach. But so, so whether that's north, south, east, you know, our eyes and our ears are to the ground and our hearts are towards the Lord and saying, Father, we want to be where you want us to be. Yeah. So I wanted to make sure that you guys can continue in prayer from day to day. And if you find yourself really identifying with this ministry, I invite you on Wednesday to be here at 6.30 before we continue to share um, because we're going to talk a little bit more strategically because a lot of times when we're moving forward in these things, we need funds and we need to go, what does that look like? What do we currently have and what are we aiming for? There's also going to be a letter that goes out within the app um, so you can see it and it's connected to our building fund. It's something that we were talking about at the end of last year going into this year and saying, you know what? How can we faithfully give where we are today for where we want to be tomorrow, right? So that is our building fund. And what we were encouraging people to do, we were encouraging them to donate a cup of coffee, right? Like $5, 10 I don't know how, how expensive your coffee is. <laughs> you know what I mean? But you're not limited to that, right? It's just saying that everyone can contribute and everyone could be a part. It doesn't matter how much you're giving, just give towards it if you identify, right? It's not the amount, it's saying we're collaborating together and we're contributing and moving forward. So keep the ministry in prayer, the, prayer, the leaders, and, and you guys as well. You're a big part of, of what we do from week to week, you know what I mean? But we want to continue to go deeper, and there isn't a greater way to go deeper than a challenge, you know what I mean? But... Again, this morning I was sharing, the Lord initiated it, and now we navigate through it. He's with us. We take heart and take courage, and let us be amazed at what he's going to do at the very end, because I believe that to be true, and I know the leaders do, and I know there's a core that believe that as well. So we thank you, and let's continue, because we're moving. So let's pray. Father, we thank you. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for all that you have given us, Lord. You have given us much. You've forgiven us. You've given us mercy and grace and love. Before ever coming to thinking about a building and a place, you have blessed us with things that are in the unseen realm. 
But we thank you, Father, as well for blessing us with a people that we can be a part of, blessing us with a community that we can be able to share and care and love. And I pray, Father, that there will be a future community that we can share and care and love for. And that, Father, that you would bring others to come alongside us as we fall underneath your sacrifice, Father, that you paid. And, Father, I pray that you would give us strength, that you would give us wisdom and discernment, that, Father, that you would give us a sense of harmony, a sense of peace and rest, hope, Father, that is found in you, and a sense of faith that we can believe the impossible, to believe beyond what our minds have a tendency of keeping us in, that we can be open to where you would lead us and be faithful to obey and follow. In Jesus' name, amen and amen.